Hey, hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. And yeah, let's get right into this. What video, what am I going to explain in this video? I am going to go over demand zone. How can you use your demand zone to your advantage as a day trader? So, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment in the comment section. To, I want to see if you guys understand these videos. Do I need to be more clear? Do I need to be more precise? Let me know, guys. I'm more than happy to take any constructive feedback to help me elevate my game but let's get right into this video guys so what is demand zone demand zone is something which i consider to be an area of value for buyers us guys us longs long traders we are looking for areas of value for us in terms of price i'm going to give you an example in terms of a business so an iphone for example the value of an iphone is approximately let's say a resale value might be around 750 to 800 pounds, right? As well as buyers, this is the area we are looking to get this. We would not want this at 1,400, 1,300. We wouldn't want it above retail. We'd want it below, right? And this is the same concept of trading. What are us, what are longs looking for? What are the majority of people looking for? Why do they want to enter the play? And where do this want to enter the play? So you identify previous zones. And by looking at this first chart, CMND, look left and look in this area. You clearly see areas where price has bounced fast. So look here, this is the area. So look at these wicks. And then you got this area here as well. So these are areas of demand areas where you could potentially buy the stock. Again, with more confirmation. First, we start off with a simple downtrend. So number one, you do not want to buy within the trend, right? You want to wait for it to break. But again, where is the demand zone? Again, this is an area of demand. Why is this an area of demand? Look at the wicks. Price is bouncing in this area. It's quick bounce, bang, bang. Let's just make it a bit shorter because there was only one bounce bottom, but let's just say until here. And this is your demand zone. You also got a zone here, here as well. So these are areas of demand. These are areas of price is being picked up. Again, if you look at this quick drop, we had a drop here and um, price got bought straight back up again into this demand zone. Look at this big previous week here. Bang, buyers stepped up, pushed the price up, we pushed, we faded, we pushed. Then we broke this downtrend and we started to bounce in demand zone. Again, now, where would the entry price be, right? And this is where a lot of people get confused. So as long as you have a 3% stop, your stop loss will be under this. So around here, um, your entry price will be on this break uh, candle above. So you get this push. You can either enter within this and you can use, let's see VWAP. So VWAP is above, which is the downside. And then the EMA. So as long as we're above the EMA nine and you're above the downtrend, you can look for entries, right? Um, this was an A triple A plus setup, but it was a good setup. It's a setup which is breaking into, uh, a downtrend and it was above demand zone. The only like downside to this was the lack of the volume. Volume did kind of dry out. So if people didn't get into this play, I wouldn't blame them. But again, we were still in an area of value. The risk wasn't too high, and yeah, it just flew past um, the area of uh, resistance. Now let's look at another play. A play I alerted in the Discord group on Friday. I alerted this based on demand zone, right? So, look left. This is an area of value, right? Why is this an area of value? This is where buyers stepped in to take liquidity. It's called liquidity grab, right? Liquidity grab is when buyers aim for an area to buy. So, they'll have the limit orders. They'll aim for these areas. A lot of people will get stocked out, but they would enter and they'd bring the price up. So, let's just put a box here for this and this is how you identify demand zone i usually use the bottom of the fat body so where the uh, where the wick starts essentially there to the bottom of the wick and we just go across right we just just go across there so that's our level right and then we pushed up we pushed up i gave an alert here around here then i gave another alert we start to form a downtrend right we start to mix this in with the falling wedge and look here guys the five minute is just beautiful on this. I recommend using the five minute mainly for demand zones. Um, it's better. So how do you enter this play? You wait for it to enter into demand zone. You wait for the five minute candle to close to see if buyers are stepping up. We get this and then we get this five minute candle, right? And if you look at the wicks on this candle, it shows buyers are stepping up. And then what you do is look at the EMA9 and then we switch to the one minute chart. And what I look for is I look for a reclaim of the EMA9. And look here, we start to reclaim this EMA9. I gave an entry and bang, we had a pretty nice move to the upside. From here to this, around a 22% move. 
right? Just based on the falling wedge alone, uh, demand zone, which is a perfect entry. But yeah, that's how you essentially use demand zone. So that's how I use the demand zone on Friday to my advantage. So this is just another example. How do you draw again? Bottom of the fabric here. So from the body, where the body basically closes off. So you don't wanna, I don't really do it from here, of course, I don't do it from here because this is where price is being fought. This is between buyers and sellers are basically fighting in this range, right? This wick. So between here and here, this is where the fight is going on. And this is where buyers are stepping up. This would be an area of demand. This is the area of most value for buyers. And let's look at another example, MLEC. So again, now what we, where are we looking at? Where are we looking, guys? Where are we looking? Guys, chart this with me. Chart this with me. Look left. Look at the wick. That's the wick. Look there. That's an area of demand. It's there. Look at the wick. There you go. And now what, we, what do we look for? Okay, this is a demand zone. We identify a demand zone. Now, start to look for a downtrend. We've got our downtrend. One, two, three, four, five. Area rejection. And the funny thing is, we're getting a falling wedge pattern again, which is a reversal pattern. We wait for the five minute, we close back up. That's a nice wick. So from here to here alone, we already got like a 10% move. And then look, you could look again, you come back down, you bounce again, you get another demand zone entry from here, and you end up pushing this level. That's a nice 20% move based on that demand zone. Does it mean this strategy is gonna work 100% of the time? No, I'd say about 70 to 80% of the time it works. And that's all you need. One to two risk to reward, take your profits, bang. Very, very simple. But yeah, this is how you use the demand zone to your advantage, right? It's a very simple strategy to use. Again, just make sure you mark other levels of resistance as you go as well. So you've got an area here, we previously rejected, etc. But yeah, just use, look left, always look left, look at those wicks, right? Uh, is the best way to kind of put it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this YouTube video. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hit that like button, subscribe. See you guys later.